Your media library is home to all the images and videos you upload to later. It has unlimited storage and instantly syncs across all your connected devices. To add media items to your media library, simply drag and drop files from your device into later. You can add a single image or bulk upload to your media library by selecting Upload Media or by using the Google Drive or Dropbox integrations. Media items will need to meet the sizing requirements for each platform and publishing type. To auto-publish on Instagram, files should be no larger than 8 megabytes, while Facebook allows up to 10 megabytes. Media items destined for Twitter can be up to 5 megabytes if they're photos or videos, or 15 megabytes for GIFs. If you auto-publish a post with a media item that's too large, the quality may be impacted. Now that there's media in your media library, it's time to organize with labels, media notes, and bulk delete. Labels categorize media items. They're customizable, so you can apply any keyword. Common choices include product type, color, or mood. Media notes capture context, credits, or ideas that are specific to a media item. When you schedule a media item to post, any attached media notes will be converted to a caption. Media notes and labels are searchable, so you can always find what you're looking for. To get rid of media items you don't need anymore, use Bulk Delete. Keep in mind that anything you delete will be removed permanently. Try exploring other organizational tools, like stars or filters, to see what works best for managing your media. By managing your media library from day one, you'll save time when searching for specific content to publish. For example, let's say you have a sale coming up. You can add product labels to your media items and search for any included in the promotion. This allows you to focus on the upcoming sale without spending unnecessary time scrolling through your media library.